Ne Jack? Jack. Thinking about coincidences makes us wonder if they just happen randomly or if they're part of fate or a higher power's plan. In today's video, we delve into the archives of time to undercover mind-bending historical coincidences that defy explanation. So, without further ado, let's step back in time and unravel the astonishing tapestry of incredible concurrences. Violet Jessup, an extraordinary survivor of three maritime calamities, walks the line between being considered one of the luckiest or unluckiest individuals in history. Serving as a ship stewardess, she first encountered peril in 1911, when the Olympic, the vessel she was on, collided with the HMS Hawk. Remarkably, the Olympic endured the impact and Jessup emerged unscathed. The fateful year of 1912 saw Jessup aboard the ill-fated Titanic. While the disaster is well known, Jessup managed to escape on a lifeboat, defying the odds once again. Rather than retreat from the sea's grasp, Jessup embarked on a new chapter as a nurse aboard the Britannic. Titanic's sister ship transformed into a hospital vessel during World War I. Tragically, the Britannic succumbed to an explosion, likely caused by an underwater mine, sinking within an hour. In her memoirs, Jessup recounts her escape on a lifeboat, though a twist of fate left her as the sole occupant. The lifeboat struggled to free itself from Britannic's propellers, leading everyone but Jessup to abandon it. In an improbable turn, Jessup, who never learned to swim, eventually followed suit, leaping off the lifeboat. Miraculously saved by her life jacket, she defied the odds once more and went on to live until the age of 84. Violet Jessup's life is a riveting tale of survival against the relentless challenges posed by the unforgiving sea. Abraham Lincoln's son, Robert, wasn't present for three presidential assassinations, contrary to some online claims, but his proximity to these tragedies raises intriguing connections. In 1865, the night of his father's assassination, Robert declined an invitation to Ford's Theater, only to be with the president when he passed away the next morning. In 1881, while serving as Secretary of War, Robert was present at the Baltimore and Potomac Railroad Station when President James Garfield was shot, later succumbing to inadequate medical attention. Two decades later, Robert attended the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, where he learned of President William McKinley's shooting. Initially hopeful about McKinley's recovery, Robert visited him twice that week, only to witness the president's unfortunate demise a week later. While these connections may be attributed to Robert Lincoln's close ties to American power, a peculiar twist of fate is revealed. If not for a narrow escape at a Jersey City train station during the Civil War, where Robert fell perilously between a moving train and the platform, he might have avoided witnessing these presidential tragedies altogether. His rescue in that critical moment was orchestrated by none other than Edwin Booth, a renowned actor and brother of John Wilkes Booth, the very man destined to assassinate Robert's father. This interplay of fate and historical coincidence renders Robert Lincoln's life story both tragic and oddly entwined with the pivotal events of American history. Sutomo Yamaguchi, a man seemingly impervious to the whims of fate, navigated through extraordinary survival against the backdrop of harrowing historical events. Stationed in Hiroshima on the infamous day when the United States unleashed the first atomic bomb on Japan, Yamaguchi defied the destructive force, being thrown into the air but miraculously surviving the blast. Undeterred by the horrors he witnessed, he returned to his home in Nagasaki, unwittingly positioning himself within the blast zone of the second atomic bomb. Sam Keane's narrative in The Violinist's Thumb unveils a chilling episode in Yamaguchi's life. While recounting the devastation in Hiroshima to his boss, a skeptical inquiry about the destructive power of a single bomb unfolded. In a surreal turn of events, a white light swelled in the room, prompting Yamaguchi to recall, I thought the mushroom cloud followed me from Hiroshima. 
The rarity of Yamaguchi's predicament surfaces when considering that out of the approximately 150 individuals present in Hiroshima and Nagasaki during their respective attacks, very few, like Yamaguchi, found themselves in both blast zones. Yet, against all odds, he defied the forces that seemed destined to claim him, living a remarkable life that extended to the age of 93. Once upon a time, there was a scary story by Edgar Allan Poe about a ship called the Narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket. In the story, the ship's crew was in big trouble because their boat was broken and they were in serious danger. To decide who would be the next person they had to eat to survive, they drew straws. The unlucky person chosen was named Richard Parker, and things ended very badly for him. But surprisingly, two people survived because they had to eat him, and they also ate a tortoise. Now, many years later, a real yacht called the Mignonette faced a terrible storm in the Indian Ocean and sank. The four people on the yacht had to escape to a small boat, but they didn't have much food. Just like in Poe's story, they ate a tortoise to stay alive. But when things got really desperate, they had to do something very sad and scary. They had to eat one of their own. And guess what? The person they had to eat was also named Richard Parker, just like in Poe's made-up story. It's a strange and creepy coincidence that connects fiction to real life. This macabre tale transcends the boundaries of fiction, immersing us in the harrowing choices faced by those battling the unforgiving seas where the line between survival and horror blurs in a nightmarish dance with destiny. As we conclude this voyage through the corridors of history, we hope these incredible historical coincidences have left you in awe of the unpredictable dance of fate. If you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, share, and comment below with your thoughts.